Good morning, everybody. Uh, I typically don't do this, but I want to just give an overview of the flow forecast we got coming in because it's pretty significant. Uh, so this film will just focus on um, the South Fork America, the Ch American River uh, on the Chili Bar section. I think that's a river most people are familiar with uh, who are kayakers. So here we go. We have this uh, flow forecast. Um, got a couple storms coming in, atmospheric rivers. And, uh, oop, lost my hydrograph. Um, and we're looking at a flow of um, almost 8,000. Or it's not linking correctly. Uh, typically this, oh, there it goes. Yeah, 8,300. Typically this river flows at around, uh, when the dam's off, 400 CFS. And when it's on, like last Saturday when I paddled it, 1,800 CFS. So when you see a forecast of 72,851 CFS, that's significant. What's happening is this first storm's dropping snow, it's cold, and then the second storm's dropping um, warm rain uh, that will melt that snow and unleash it. Um, and in a way, that has and this happened very few times in the history of this, uh, uh, in the history of like modern gauge data, basically, uh, on this river. So, so yeah, let's let's look at it. Um, you know, how does this event compare with others? Uh, I queried uh, this chili bar gauge in 2011, or about a two-year period. And you can see that the highest it's, it got in 2011, which was another big water year, was 11,000. Um, 11,213 on December 19th, 2010. Uh, this gauge data, I couldn't find anything from uh, 1997, so I went a little bit downriver to the dam. Uh, American Whitewater shows the North Fork American Dam uh, gauge numbers there. So if we look downriver, and so downriver there's more accretion, more flow, right? So if we look for the highest flows in recorded history, uh, downriver of this Chili Bar site, right above the confluence, we can see that in uh, the highest uh, ever recorded flow was in 1964 on uh, December 23rd, and it was 65,400 CFS. That's, that's about 7,000 less than what's forecasted. Um, if we go back, we can see that in 1997, it was at 64,800 CFS. 1986, February 2nd, or sorry, February 17th, 60,000. 1963, it almost made, uh, 60,000 on a January storm. So this is a very big storm and it's just gonna, um, it, it's, it's gonna cause flooding if, if, if these models are correct. Um, and the kayaking will be unlike any event except for these four. So, um, I hope this helps plan weekend plans and uh, just get people ready for what's what's coming if these models are true. Uh.